good morning. Good morning. And again, I welcome you. I welcome you this morning in Jesus' joy. Welcome you to Tree of Life Empowerment Ministry Church, a church that is Christ-driven and kingdom-focused, where the Reverend Phyllis Scott is our senior pastor. And again, I welcome you. For this is truly the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We just say thank you this thank morning. You. Thank you for the opportunity to be in his presence just one more day. Thanking him for new grace and mercy on this day. Amen and amen and amen. Oh, God is good on today. I'm here to tell you God is good. He woke us up early this morning, clothed in our right mind, and allowed to come in his holy presence, taking nothing for granted, but giving him all glory and honor. So we come in today to worship God, yes. to worship him for who he is, a holy God he is, worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. And now it is our call to worship. Amen. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him above all creatures here below. Praise him above his heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. All give him praise this morning because he's truly worthy of the praise. He's truly worthy. He's a holy of God. He's holy. Yes, right Lord. now, we want to come into his holy presence yes, and we want to lift up those on our prayer list. Amen. 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 So this morning, we are lifting up the pastors of Oakland. We're lifting up pastors of Oakland. We're lifting up Sister Patricia Wilder. We're lifting up Brother Juan Johnson. We're lifting up Sister Kalisa. Lifting up Brother Odressa Smith. We're lifting up our pastor, Pastor Scott and her family. Lifting up the first responders. And always we continue to lift up the friends and families of over 500,000 whose loved ones have died from COVID-19. And we wanna keep before you to continue lift up the chief and the city of Oakland's police department, Chief Laron Armstrong. And we want to lift up fathers who are raising children on their own. And we are continuing to pray for children whose fathers have fallen of the senseless act of violence. Yes. And we want to lift up and pray for all fathers, all fathers worldwide. Amen? Amen. 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 And now, may God's love, God's mercy, God's compassion, God's healing power be upon those we have lifted up before you in the holy, 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 precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Oh, give him glory amen. today. Lord. Give God glory today. Hallelujah. Lord. We're going to praise him today. We're going to the Holy Spirit to fall. We're going to praise him today. We're going to worship him. Oh, right now is coming before you, my sister, Reverend Anthony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank oh, you. Glory, glory. glory. Yeah, thank, thank, you Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Glory, glory. Thank oh, you, I Lord. thank the Lord. Bless his name. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful to be here with you all today. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for the spirit of God that moves everywhere and how he wants to move. And I'm thankful for that on this morning. Amen. I thank God that we are here gathered together in his name. Yeah, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I pray that you'll turn with me this morning as we... Look for a word from on high from the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We have our pastor, senior pastor, Reverend Phyllis Scott, who is going to bring an on-time word this morning. Amen. Adam, where are you? Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to the word from on high. Oh, yes. And while you turn with me right now, as we prepare our spirits together in this service to the Lord, that we are dedicating ourselves unto the Lord today. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. That's yes, why Lord. we came here Jesus. together this morning. Mm. So turn with me to Galatians chapter mm. 6 in verse 5. And I pray you truly are turning with me 
as we are on this journey together this morning. Amen. And it reads in Galatians 6, chapter 5, chapter 6, verse 5. For each one should carry their own load. Amen. Amen. You may be seated if you stood for the word of God. And this scripture tells us that each one should carry their own load. And it talks about our responsibility. Yes. But it talks about our load when it comes to the Lord. Yes. Carrying our load and handling our responsibility is about our relationship with Christ. Yes. Because your responsibility is whatever it is that he has given you yes. to do. Yes. And although it is easy for us to fall short, we know that we can lean on Christ Jesus. And as we think about carrying our loads, whatever that might be in this life that the Lord has blessed us with, there is only one thing we need to realize in that walk is that Christ Jesus is with us. Yes. That we can lean on him for our understanding, for this walk, for these things that we have to do. We don't have to look at the person on our right and the person on our left and compare ourselves to their walk and what they're doing and what they have to do. We only have to look up yes. to yes. listen to what he's saying to us yes. and know that whatever the load is, that Jesus has walked that walk and he's done it for us and that we can lean on him as we walk our own walk and as we figure out what it is the Lord would have us to do. Yeah, we have responsibilities in life, but we also have the Savior. We have the one who came because he loved us and that's why he came. So we can lean on him, so we can go to him. So we can look to the hills from which cometh our help. Amen. 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 So as we think about our responsibilities, let's also think about Christ Jesus, yes. the one that we lean on. And I'm so grateful today because God has sent a word from on high. And he sent a messenger. He sent one diligent in her work that she has to do. Amen. Amen. And so what? Won't you just uh, share with us in these announcements before we hear a word from our pastor, Reverend Phyllis Scott. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I pray that you read about our reconnect ministry because sometimes our load does seem very heavy and sometimes we get discouraged and we turn away we turn away from God we turn away from our church we turn away from wise counsel we turn away from our pastor and we kind of just do our own thing and you know what it happens it happens to all of us but we have a ministry here at Tree of Life Empowerment Ministries Church called the Reconnect Ministry. And it is a ministry where you can come, talk, pray, be uplifted, and know that God never turns from us. We only turn from him. And so there's always a place where you can come and reconnect to your father, to your church, to your pastor. Even if you're not a member of Tree of Life, it doesn't matter. It's just a place for you to get encouraged and to be strengthened. 
so you can get back on track with your relationship with your father. Amen. 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 So if you, if that's you and you need a place where you can just come and figure things out, where there's no judgment, just love and prayer and uplifting for one another, you can call us at 510-688-7437 or send a text or just get on our Facebook page and read more about Reconnect. Amen. 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 And now Amen. a word from our pastor, Amen. Reverend Amen. Phyllis Scott. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God, everyone. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank Praise you, Lord. God. I'm excited today because we're in a, we're in the presence of God. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm excited. Hallelujah. Anytime we come into the presence of God, that is a time to be excited. Yes. Because yes. I promise you that He will not fail you All right. by giving you things you don't need. All right. All right. He will not load you down with the problems of this world or the anxiety that you're going through. He won't do that. When you come into the presence of God, He'll give you the energy, the motivation, the courage, the strength, the joy, yes. and yes, the peace Lord. that you need to make it oh, yes. through this terrible time. Yes. In fact, the Lord won't even trouble you with that. What the Lord will do is share a word with you that will lift you up yes. and cause you to want to get closer to him. Yes. All this month, the topic of discussion will be centered around the men of God. Mm -hmm. But it will yeah. be trans, it will be transferred over and it will be transformed to reach all people. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. the word of God is for all people. Yes, yes, what do I mean by that? Just like in the Bible, when it says the brethren, it also meant sisters. Yes. Yes. And when I speak to men, I'm also speaking to women. But far too long, our men folk have felt perhaps left out by the church. That no one is giving them directions specifically for them. I don't know. And I do know that God intended it like that because God intended men to get the message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You read the word of God, you'll see the first thing he did was communicate with Adam. Yes. yes. Establish a relationship with Adam, yes. his new and uh, uh his new son. Not his first son, Jesus was his first son, but his new son, mm -hmm. Adam. All right, come on, come on. And so we want to go back and think about the relationship that God wanted to establish with Adam. Yes. And then you want to ask your question to yourself Is God still seeking relationship with his sons? Mm -hmm. Is God still seeking to speak to his sons? Okay, okay. Is he looking for that army mm -hmm. of sons? Yes, yes. Is God asking Adam, where are you? Mm -hmm. That's what the conversation will be about today. Amen. Mm -hmm. Adam, where are you? Your father is looking for you all right, all right. in your communities, mm -hmm. in your churches, yes. in your homes, yes. Yes. at the parks with your children, mm -hmm. with your wives. God is searching for you. Yes, Lord. And I know men may think that God may have forgotten. Mm -hmm. Come on, God. After all, when we get together in the church, it's the women that's screaming and hollering and passing out. It's the women that are being slain by the Holy Spirit. But that does not mean that God is not seeking men. That's right. Yes. Does not yes. speak to men. Yes. You may look at today's system and say that men are being hunted, hunted by snipers and shooters. And every day we hear of, of violence that's taking place. And at the streets of those violence, laying in the street, are men. We see the jail system crowded yeah. with men. Yeah. God may be calling Adam, where are you? But can they hear him? Mm. Can they hear him over all the noise, mm. over all the chaos, mm -hmm. over all the threats? Can they hear him? 
Well, I'm here to tell you yes, yes. that God is still looking for Adam, yes, looking for his sons, yes. and he still loves them. Yes. And so I pray that you stay with me during this special month that we dedicate to our men. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. In the Thank name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. I look forward to sharing this message with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. time for the reading of God's holy word. Amen. And I'm we're going to be coming today. We're going to be in the book of Genesis. Before we get there, I'm going to give you a few minutes to get your word and, and go and pull out Genesis. Get the word and pull out Genesis. Go to chapter 3 of Genesis. That's where we're going to be today for the preach word. And pastor will be coming from this these scriptures. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 3 verses 8 through 13. Genesis chapter 3, 8 through 13. Which, amen. We stand for the reading of God's holy, blessed word. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I come, commanded thee not to eat? Thou shouldst not eat. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me, with me, she gave me of this tree. I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is it that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. May God add a blessing to the readers and hearers and doers of his holy word. You may be seated if you stand in his holy presence. Amen. And now we're going to have a musical selection. And we're going to just prepare our minds and spirits and hearts to begin to hear the word, hear from the word, from the woman of God word that she's going to bring forth with power. We just want to take a few minutes and pull ourselves together and just kind of calm down and get ready for this word because the word is going to be truly uh, a powerful word for those who, who are open to receive it. And I just need you to take a few minutes and just begin to quiet your spirit, but begin to just call on God and just spend some time in his holy presence right now because the word truly has something for all of us. Well, we just want to tell him today, just thank you for just being in, just being around you, just being with you. There's something about spending time with God, just being in his presence. There's just something amazing about God that you may not have experienced yet, but you're experiencing something. That's God, that's God moving, that's God changing. That's God transforming and restoring. We need to spend more time with him. We need to call on him more often. We need to build a stronger relationship with him. Oh, hallelujah. There's something ooh, magnificent about being around God. Oh, he's omnipresent. He's always around you. All you got to do is call him. Call on him. Just sit. Just sit under his anointing. Oh, my God. Read your word and just ask him to give you what you need from the word. Stay, stay in his presence. Begin to worship him. Oh, God loves to be worshipped. He loves to be worshipped. Hallelujah. There's, oh, Jesus, there's something about God that 
we don't even begin to know and understand, we'll never fully know him completely. But, oh my God, let you do know, know that he's real, that he came to save us from ourselves. And he sent us preachers to teach us more about him, to get to know about him and his word. Because we can read the word and really not decipher it ourselves, but we send someone to decipher that word to tell us more about him, to get closer to him. So I need you to prepare your heart for this word and open up. And when you read, when you, the word comes and you're reading the word, don't you get excited about it because God is talking to you about you, helping you to understand he's correcting some things in you. Don't get mad, don't get angry. Say she talk about, oh God is helping us to grow and get strong and draw closer to you as he begins to change us, to look more like him and his son and the Holy Spirit. So I'm here to let you know the next voice is coming forth, a preacher of this hour, who's coming forth with power and anointing from on high. It's gonna bring you a word for all of us to receive. I'm sending the preacher forth and the next voice you hear shall and will be the pastor, Reverend Phyllis Scott. Amen. his name. Come give God the praise. Give God the praise. Wherever you are, give God the praise. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever room you're in, if you're in your car, in your room, yeah. outside, wherever you are, go ahead and praise him. Thank the Lord. Go ahead and praise him. Lord. For he is truly worthy yeah. to be praised. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. Carried you and brought you a mighty long way. Yes. And I know you have a testimony to tell somebody. Yes, Lord. So go ahead and praise Thank him for all Lord. the good yes. things that God has done for you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord, Lord God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord God. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord of the Holy Word. Amen. And so if you have a Bible, open it yes, to Lord. Genesis, the third chapter, yes, 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 and yes. verse 8. Yes. And in that context of scriptures, there is a message. All right. You know, there's always a message yeah, yeah, yeah. in the scriptures. Yes, Lord. And this one is no different. Yes. There is a message in this scripture. And here in Genesis 3 and verse 8, it says, when the cool evening breeze were blowing, 
the man and his wife heard the Lord God walking about in the garden. So they hid from the Lord mm -hmm. among the trees. Then the Lord called to the man, where are you? He replied, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. The Lord responded, who told you that you were naked? The Lord asked, have you eaten from the, from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat? The man replied, it was the woman. You gave me, it was the woman, you gave me. It was this woman's fault. And yours too, God, because you gave her to me. It was the woman you gave me, the, who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then the Lord asked the woman, what have you done? The serpent deceived me, she replied. That's why I ate it. You may be seated. Amen. Holy God, holy God. You positioned this time. I do believe you positioned this message. For Lord God, as we look around the world today, we see your sons. We see your sons. And I can't help but ask myself, Lord, do they hear you? So Lord God, use me to deliver a message that will help your sons hear your voice. Lord and know what the call on their life should be. Yes. And this is my prayer in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Amen. 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 In Genesis, the third chapter, mm -hmm. we find the first tragedy recorded in the Bible. Because prior to Genesis 3, we read of a beautiful vision and beautiful works of the Almighty God. Yes. We see God's plan for the world okay. revealed in the first and second chapters of Genesis. We see God's plan to the world. And that plan was that they would live in a paradise condition. This was prior to Genesis 3. But in Genesis 3, we read God's breath. We read prior to Genesis 3, we read that the breath of God began to blow creation into existence. Yes, okay. yes. God began to create the world the way that he wanted the world to look. Okay. A paradise. Yes, okay. Many of us take vacations to what we deem as paradise islands. Mm -hmm. Hawaii, Trinidad, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. And then we look at the beautiful ocean and the beautiful landscape and the beautiful creatures there, but no way would they compare to the paradise that the Lord originally made. Yes, yes. Because what God created was perfect. Yes. yes. So we read that God's breath began to blow creation into our into existence, and that God's greatest creation was also birthed, and that was the creation of man and woman. Mm -hmm. His most prized creation, man and woman. Okay. There was nothing growing on the earth at that time. It was void of life. There was no rain, for God had not called rain into existence mm -hmm. to water the plant life. There was nothing there to spring forth vegetation until the Lord called it into existence. Okay, let's make it plain. Plant life was called into existence, brought forth by God's mighty power and his amazing love. Mm. His mighty power and his love. He didn't need this. No. Yes, yes. It wasn't a game. He needed to do something right. to, to, to quench 
his boredom. Mm -hmm. He did it out of love. Yes, yes, yes. God planted the garden, and in the garden, he planted his most precious creation. Yes. Man. Mm. In the middle of this paradise booming with fruit and vegetable and animals that man would name, he put man in the middle of it and said, look mm. at all of this, my son, I give it to you. Yeah. And when God had finished with his majestic work, God said these words, it is good. Mm. Meaning that all God had created was without defect. Yeah. All right. Nothing was wrong with it. Then, after God did all that, mm -hmm. he gave man a responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Come on. After he had created the heavens and the earth mm -hmm. and all that was within it, he gave man a responsibility recorded in Genesis 2.15, okay. where it says, the Lord God placed the man in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. Okay. Come on. 16, but the Lord warned him that you may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden, mm -hmm. 17, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Right. If you eat it, it's fruit, you are sure to die. Yeah. He gave Adam, yeah, yeah. the man, the responsibility of attending to all of God's creation. Yes, yes. The creation that God valued the creation that God loved, okay. the creation that God had worth for. Mm -hmm. Responsibility was given to men. Mm -hmm. okay. And God said, it was all good, including the responsibility I'm giving you. It's all good, okay. which means you can achieve this. It's all good yeah, yeah, yeah. because I have cared for it and given it to you, not defective, not bruised, not broken, Come not on. torn, Come but on. whole. It is good Come and on. it is a good responsibility yeah. Come for you. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. Come on now. Everything that God did was good, yeah. right. including yeah. the responsibility that he passed on to Adam. Yeah. All right. He didn't pass on anything that Adam could not do. Right, 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 for he right, had right, created right, Adam and right, he knew right, right, right. exactly what yeah, Adam yeah, yeah, yeah. was capable of. Yes, yes, yes. yes. God yes. had put everything yep, in true. its proper place. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. To act responsibly and to value the responsibility that he had given him. Yes. One thing about God, he's a God of order. Mm -hmm. yes. And everything yes. created with God works best when it is in alignment with God yes. and God's purpose. I want to say that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything that works in alignment yes. with God that sustains itself in God is bound to be successful okay. because it is good. Yes. All right. Okay. It's in alignment with God's purpose. And when your life is out of order, it's, in an, it's out of alignment with God's order. Mm -hmm. There's no other way to put it because God said when I created the heaven and earth, it was good. Yeah, yeah. When I created man, it was good. Yes, it when was. I gave him his responsibility, that was good. Mm -hmm. All right. It didn't get bad until man fell out of the land. Come on, tell the truth, tell the truth. That's true. So you got to look at this. Okay. When your life is out of order, mm. is it in alignment with God's order? Or are you out of order? Mm. Right now, tell it. When your children are out of order, are they in alignment with God? Order? God's purpose? Are they out of order? Mm. Have you made so many excuses for your children Ooh, that they don't know what's correct and what's oh, not correct? Oh, that you preach right. one thing and live another thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you say one yes, thing yes. but do something else. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Are you out of alignment with God? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, when God put everything together, mm -hmm. he put it together not to be twisted. He even right. gave you That's right. a warning. Yes. Yes. Don't do this. Yes. Yes. Don't eat that. Yes. Right, right, right. Now, you can have everything else, but don't eat that. Mm -hmm. right, right. God put everything in order. Yes, he, did. he even put a stop sign for you to stop it. Come on, Pastor. The tree of good and evil and yeah, knowledge yeah, yeah. was a stop sign. Wait a minute, I gotta stop and think what God told me yeah, to do yeah, yeah, yeah. and what God did yes. not tell me to do. Yes, I gotta right. stop 
and faith. See, if God yes. just said everything, yes. then you just be willy-nilly doing what oh, you want to do. I'm but when that. God put things in order, yes. he put things in order for you to remember who's in charge yes. of what's going on. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Yes. 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 Come yes. on now. When our communities and our households mm -hmm. are in a place of chaos, Come on. are you in alignment mm. with God? Are, are our communities in alignment? Is our household in alignment? And how about our churches? Mm. Come on now. How about our churches? The place of worship. Mm -hmm. He said that he... He put man in charge of taking care of, yeah. tending to, is what the New Living Translation puts it. Yours may read differently, but it means to care for. Okay. So he placed man there in the garden to care for. Mm -hmm. What about our churches? Mm -hmm. What about our churches? Mm -hmm. The place of worship. Are you tending or caring for your church? Mm -hmm. For when things are in alignment with God, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. Right. Adam. Where are you? Mm. Right. He was looking not for Eve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, he was yes. looking for Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he wasn't looking for Eve. No. Mm -mm. He was looking for the one that he made yeah. responsible. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's true. Oh, hallelujah. Come on now. Preach. Oftentimes, we don't like the responsibility that God gives us. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. Adam did not like the responsibility, mm. apparently. Hmm. Because when he fell down on his responsibilities, mm -hmm. rather than him saying, woman, you messed up. Mm -hmm. I need to go talk to my father about what mm -hmm. you're doing. Because my God told me Ooh, that I'm responsible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. responsible yeah. Yes. Yes. for all this. Yes. yes. Now, here's the thing about responsibility. Mm -hmm. Come on, tell it. God tests your responsibility mm -hmm. because sometimes you only think your responsibility lies within what you can see. Come on, Pastor. Right. Right. Come on, Pastor. Adam may have said, I didn't ask for this fruit. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for that tree. I didn't ask for God to give me these animals. Mm -hmm. Why should I be responsible mm -hmm. for all this? Mm -hmm. But sometimes God tests your responsibility yes. by not what you think you're responsible uh, for, well, but well, what well, he well, says you're responsible for. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. yes, Lord. But as good as things were prior to Genesis, mm -hmm. the third chapter, if you read three and onward, mankind continues to go down yes. here. Say that. Yes. Say that. From mm -hmm. Genesis 3 mm -hmm. and onward yes. to Revelation, yeah, yeah. mankind struggles with their responsibility yeah. to God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. 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 Two yeah. chapters yeah. in Genesis on, where God said. was in charge and yeah. God yeah. was giving out responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. On Genesis 3, it's entitled The Fall of Man yeah. and not the fall. And the fall has been occurring since Genesis yes. 3 yes. because we refuse to accept our responsibility yes. in God. Yes, yes. When Adam gave up his responsibility, he let go of God's hand. Yes, he did. Ooh, Jesus. When we let go of the responsibility, God, be careful. Mm. We always want to blame somebody else. Mm. And blame is truly a game because blame does not fix anything. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God didn't say if you blame somebody, then you will receive life. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It says if you repent, Come on. acknowledge your ways yes, and turn. Yes. Isn't that what we yes, pray yes. for? Yes. That we turn from our wicked yes. ways. Isn't that what we ask for? Yes. Oh, my yes. God. Yes, Lord. Jesus, 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 mm. Jesus. Lord. When Adam Jesus. gave up his responsibility, he let go of God's hands, God's purpose, God's intent. And rather than being responsible, Adam became irresponsible yeah. mm -hmm. of what God had given him. Irresponsible to the things that God valued. Irresponsible mm -hmm. to what God considered worthy. Yeah. And we can see this same irresponsibility playing out today. Yeah. Yes, we, can. we value the wrong things. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, it's hard out here. Yes. But when we accept the responsibility that God has given us, yes. 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 and he has called Adam 
to be leader and not a follower. Yes, yes. To be a doer and a, a do not a. Yes. yes. To be responsible for what God has given him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be responsible for the word. To yeah, be responsible yeah, 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 for the yeah, yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. To be responsible for your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be responsible for your yeah, works yeah. and community. Amen. When we realize that we can't choose what we want to be responsible That's for. That's right. <laughs> God had given Adam men and women. Yes, mm -hmm. women too. He'd given them everything. And they, Adam, let go. Mm -hmm. Remember, nothing changed until Adam let go. Mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. Nothing That's right. changed mm -hmm. until Adam stopped being responsible. Yeah, yeah. There is no written time period between Genesis 2 and Genesis 3. We don't know how long Adam mm -hmm. did what God called him to do. Yeah. Yeah. Tended for the garden, right. took care of everything. We don't know how long it was before Adam got fed up. Mm -hmm. right. Got yeah. tired. Yeah. Got sick and tired of doing the yeah. same thing over. Right. Got tired of being called on to do yes. this and do that. Yes. Got tired of taking yes. walks with God yes. and talking to God. Got tired. Got tired. So therefore, he gave up his responsibility and let the woman take over. Just forgot all about what God had told him, how God had empowered him, how God had given him authority. And God had said, this is yours. Take care of it. Now, hallelujah, God. Don't give me Jesus. But now we see the men walking away. Walking away from that which they are, should be responsible for. Walking away. Walking away because it's too hard. They're tired of hearing God tell them what they should be responsible for. They got enough on their plate already. Oh, my God. I'm tired of God telling me what I'm supposed to do. Aren't I doing enough as it is? But if God empowered you, hey. then God yeah. empowered you. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Yes, Lord. Yes, he will. Lord, Adam, yes, he will. where are you? Mm. When we come to the realization that where God places you, he provides for you. Mm -hmm. And it is good. Yes. That if God entrusts you with responsibility, that all of you are responsible. Mm -hmm. That you then can do all things oh, through yes. Christ. Yes. We say it all the time. Yes, yes. I can do all things for Christ. That's what strengthens you. Yes. Adam, yes. where are you? Mm. Yes, Lord. We've gotten turned around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sisters have risen up. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said in the last days, my sons and my daughters. He didn't say just my daughters. He mm -hmm. said my sons. Yeah. You see who we put first? My sons. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see who we put yeah. first? My sons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't put them secondary. No, no. He said my sons. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. My yeah. daughters going to join yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they going to join me. Yeah. Realization hmm. that where God places you, yes. He provides for you. Yes. yes he will. Yes, he will. If God placed you in a position yes, of power, then use the power yes. for the glory of God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look at our yes, text, Lord. the Lord called out to Adam. He didn't say Eve. Mm -mm. No. Look what he called out to. Says he was walking through the cool of the day. Yeah, he did. And when with his wife. He heard God walking about in the garden, so he hid from the Lord among mm -hmm. the trees. Then the Lord called to the man. Then the Lord called to the man. Come on, come on, come on. Then the Lord called to the man. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That same call is going out today. Where yeah. are you? Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. And first thing that he did, yes, Lord. He understood his wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He understood what was wrong because if you look at the text, mm -hmm. if, if you look at Genesis 1 and 2, you will see that Eve was nowhere around when God nope. gave Eve her instru his Come instructions. Come on. Nope. Nope. Nowhere there. Nowhere around. Nope. It was a conversation, mm -hmm. thank you, Jesus, yes. between God 
and his son. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. I'm saying something. Yes, I hope yes, you yes, hear me. Yes. God wanted a relationship yes. with his son. Yes. Uh, his son in heaven had a relationship with the father yes. because he became, hear me now, the second Adam. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, now, Pastor. He said if the first Adam yeah, yeah. is not going to take care of what my father asked come on, me, him to do, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he also gave to the Adam that was on earth mm -hmm. responsibility. That's right. And it was when he walked away yeah. and blamed it on the woman. Yes. Now, Eve was wrong. Don't get me wrong. That's right. Come on, tell the truth. That's right. Eve was dead wrong. Yes, she Lord. was. I don't know where she was <laughs> or what she was thinking of. All right. But obviously, it was yeah. not on God. All That's right. right. That's was, right. Just like today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we look at our communities, they out of order with God. Yes, yes. We look at our sons hanging on the streets, yes. degrading women mm -hmm. in the most deplorable ways. Yes, yes. They're out of order with God. Yes. We look at the churches and we've gotten so accustomed to them being filled with women that we don't care if we don't see the men. Oh, right. my God. Yes, yes, we yes, are, yes, my yes, God. Yes, yes, and yes, and yes, God yes. is still looking for the men yes, yes, because yes. he started the relationship yes. with them. Yes. To know where they are. Yeah. Do they trust him? Yeah, yeah. Do they believe him? Yeah. Do they see that his purpose is purposeful? Yeah. And the farther away they get from God, uh -huh. the less they can hear their responsibility yeah. Yeah. that God has given them. When we come back to the realization of where God places you, he provides. Yes. And look at this. Oh, yes. And it is good. Yes. It is good. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's not dented. It's mm -hmm. not broken. It is good. Mm -hmm. That if God entrusts responsibility in all of the responsibility that he gives you, that he's going to provide a way yes. for you to be blessed by it. Yes. yes. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adam was blessed by his responsibility. Yes, 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 yes. His responsibility took care of him. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It fed him. Yes. It clothed yes. the way it clothed. It fed yes. him yes. and provided shelter for yes. him yes. and provided a, 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 a thirst. His thirst was quenched yes. by the water. That's right. He was provided for. Mm -hmm. He needed through his responsibilities. Oh, yes. Yes. See, God don't give us nothing for nothing. That's right. Everything yeah. God That's gives right. us is for the glory yeah. of God. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yes. 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 yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sons yes, Lord. of God yes. Lord. were created yes. to Lord. be responsible yes. Yes. Lord. for yes. what God has entrusted them with, yes, he did. both in their homes. Yes. And outside of yes, it. yes, Lord. Yes. Eve, yes. Yes. yes, his wife, yeah, 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 entrusted to him. Mm -hmm. But also the animals were entrusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. He wasn't married to an elephant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, a zebra. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He wasn't married to the insects. Mm -hmm. He was one. Let's not let's get this straight mm -hmm. with God. I mean with Eve. Yeah. yeah. But he was responsible. Yeah. Come on now. For all of it. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. It didn't have to be uh -huh. from his loin. It didn't no. have to be no. from his blood. No. Right. It had to be what God wanted it to yes. be. Adam Ooh, was responsible for the land. Yes. yes. Taking care of it. Yes. Adam yes. was responsible. Come on, Pastor. Yes, Ooh, Jesus, yes, yes. What God has given, yes. God will make sure you are equipped to do it. Yes. Adam, where are you? Eve, look at the word. Mm -hmm. Going back to the word. Mm -hmm. He replied in verse 10, I heard you walking in the garden. Mm -hmm. So rather than me going to talk to you, mm -hmm. I hid from you. Yeah. I hid from you like I hid from my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I was afraid because I was naked. How do you hide from the all-seeing God? <laughs> we, we'll, deal, we'll deal with that another day. But yes. I still, I, I, still yeah. I, I can't answer that. I've been pondering over this as long as I've known and the word is how in the world, hide from it. how in the world do men folks hide from their responsibility and God knows what they can do because he equipped okay. them and yes, made them yes, and appointed them for such a time as this? How, how do they go to God and say to God, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. and it goes for women too, yes. but this is the month for men. Amen. Yeah, amen. How do you go to God and say, but God, you know what? I got too much to do. Mm -hmm. I, I can't handle all this responsibility. Mm -hmm. You gave me that woman. <laughs> and that woman right there wears me out. <laughs> nothing else I can do. I, I can't hardly think because you gave Jesus. me that woman. Jesus, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you yoked me to a soul of two of I can't do nothing else. Mm. God did yoke Adam to Eve. He made them one. But he also made Adam and Eve responsible mm -hmm. to God. Yes. 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 There, there were three in that wedding. Mm -hmm. Yes. There wasn't no bridegrooms. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no big train of men. Right. There was no audience other than the angels. But who was at that wedding was who they were yoked to. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Adam, Eve, and God. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so why are you yoked to that woman? Yeah. Sown to that woman. Uh -huh. You also yoked to God. Yeah. Sown to God. Yeah. Responsible to God. Yeah. Uh, and honor of God. Yeah. Worship God. Yeah. Believe in God. Yeah. Trust God. Yeah. Have faith in God, because if that woman should leave you, God never will. That's right. That's right. God That's never right. will. Right. If that man should leave you, God never will. Right. You better know who you yoke. You better know who your first yoke is. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Ooh, he never will. You can turn yourself mm -hmm. inside out mm -hmm. trying to please your mate, right. but if you ain't pleasing God, yeah. then all you do is for not. Come on. Because yes, God, God is your first Love. Yeah. God that is your first love. love. Yeah. That to be your first love. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yes, yes. Yes. yes, he do. Yeah. If you're yoked to them streets, mm. huh, huh. God's got to be your first love. Mm. Yes. If you yoke to uh, uh, your job, God, God's got to be your first love. Yeah. Yeah. Because God says, if you do as I tell you, yeah. Yeah. Right, right, come on, right. if you yeah. uh, uh, listen to me, yeah. yes. then I will supply Everything else. Yes. Yes. I will supply yes. everything else. Yes. yes. But it starts with me. Who always yes. we can't, brothers can't. It's time to come back. Yes. 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 God is in the garden calling for you. Yes, Lord. To come back. Yes, Lord. Our children need their fathers Ooh, yes. to come back. Yes. Get off the corners and come back. Jumping from one household to the other, creating mm. all these baby mamas come that's on. raising their children come without on. fathers. Come back. Mm. Yes, yep. true. God true. is calling the men off the streets yeah. to come back. Adam, where are you? Accept your responsibility as God's son yeah. so that you can prosper in all that you do. Yeah. If you look at the text, yeah. after oh, Adam yeah. sinned, everything fell apart. Yeah, 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 everything yeah, yeah, yeah. got hard. From the sweat of his brow yeah, just to yeah, make yeah, ends yeah, meet. Yeah, his yeah, wife gave yeah, birth and labor. Yeah, Things yeah, went from bad to yeah, worse yeah, because he let go of his responsibility yeah, 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 to God. Yeah. Ooh, make it plain, make it plain. Mm -hmm. The man replied, It was the woman <laughs> you gave me. Still there. Mm -hmm. She gave me the fruit <laughs> and I ate it. And I, I, I just can't help but think, but God gave you the instruction. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. God yes. spoke to you mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Can you imagine how different it would look if he had not mm -hmm. disobeyed, mm -hmm. if he had held on Jesus. to his responsibility? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it would have looked like. Yeah. Can you imagine mm -hmm. how our communities would look, right. how our households would yeah. look, yeah. how our children yeah. would be? Yeah. And the men were holding up their responsibility. Yes. 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 They yes. weren't walking by the snotty-nosed kid. Uh -huh. I think it's beneath them to say, 
son, do you need a napkin to clean your nose? Come on now. Well, we got to be responsible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Africa, in the towns of Africa, families took care of family. Yeah, and yeah. faith has gotten away yeah, from that yeah, village yeah. mentality yeah. where it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when God created the heavens and the earth, he didn't tell Adam, you just responsible for Eve. No. He said, you tend to all yeah, of this. Yeah, all yeah. of this. Yeah, yeah. All this. Yes. Can you imagine yes. how different it would be? Yes. 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 yes, Lord. Adam, where are you? Yes. There is a great responsibility mm. Mm. and a great blessing yes. Yes. that comes yes. from what God is doing. Yes, Lord. Yes. In the Lord. beginning, God gave Adam responsibility. Yes. And that responsibility is still weighed on the shoulders of us all. Mm -hmm. yes. Things have not been the same. Right. Mm. But we have a God that still loves us, yes. still blesses us. Yes, Lord. Thank Here is the indication that he hasn't changed his mind. Because the Lord is still blessing me right now, right now, right now. Say it. Yes, Lord. That's how you can yes, tell yes. that he has not changed his mind. Right. He did not pull back the blessing. No, he, he did not pull back the anointing. No. He did not responsibility no, no, no. and he's still here yes. to encourage and lift you up yes. in Lord. spite of it all yes, Lord. Yes, he's Lord. still looking for his yes. 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 Adam yes. where are you yes, Lord. your father loves you yes. embraces you yes. and I know you hear him calling yes. I know you do oh, yes, but I also know that you're weighed down. Mm. Yes, yes. But right now, Lord God, we're just praying, Lord God. Lord. Lord we're praying, Lord God, that the men of God yes. will see how easy your yoke is. Yes. Oh, yes. Satan wants us to believe that it's too hard. Yes. But you have told us that your yoke is light. Yes. And your burden is yes. easy. Yes, Lord. And that you, God, didn't give us more than we could bear. Yeah, I know. And there's a blessing, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. There's a blessing when Adam says, yes, Lord, here I am. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Here I am, Lord. Yeah, I've been gone for a while, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Jesus. I wandered in confusion. I wandered in misdirection, mm -hmm. but I wandered. But I hear you now, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. I hear you. Oh, and I'm ready to come and take my responsibility. Yes, yes, yes. As long as you come with me, God, oh, I know I can be oh, yes. the priest, provider, and protector oh, yes. of yes. that which you've given me. Yes. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes. Glory. 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 And when a man comes back to God, yes. 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 there is power. Oh, yes. I do believe the angels rejoice. Yeah, 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 yes, they do. I believe that the earth shakes yes. and churches are filled. Yes. With little boys mm. that see men standing for God. Yes. Say it. Instead of standing yes. on the corner. Yes. Say it. Yes. 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 I do believe yes, Lord. that when men come back into the church, yes, Lord. there's a prayer. Yes. Have you ever heard a man pray? Hey. Jesus. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. It rocks you yes. on the inside because yes. they have a relationship yes. with their father. Yes. Yes. Have you ever seen a man? Mm. Pick up his feet and do the holy dance. Yes, yes, yes. It makes the man say, yes, I dance with my Lord. Yes, yes. And the little boy realizes that he don't have to dance mm. in the nightclub. Come on. But he can dance with God. Yeah, 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 God. yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, when a man yes, comes Lord. to Christ hey. and gets on his knees before the altar. Yes. Hallelujah. He yes. brings his family. Yes. And the child that don't have a family with him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, what does Lord. it say about God? Yes, Lord. Oh, Bless his name. Bless, you, Lord. Bless, bless his name. Oh, hallelujah. Bless, bless his name. Adam, where are you? Yes. Bless Your father is calling. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Thank hallelujah. You, hallelujah. Yes. yes. Ooh, what a powerful word from on high. Yes, God Lord. is an encourager. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That was an encouragement Thank you, Lord. for his sons. Ooh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To tell his sons, God has a plan for this world. 
his greatest creation mm -hmm. was man and woman. And God gave man, Pastor Scott said, responsibility yes. for what he created. But she didn't leave it there. What he created, what he loved, mm -hmm. yes, what he saw worth in, yes, he gave it to his son. His son that he equipped. His son that he thought so highly of. That's yes. why he gave it to him. Because yes. God knows that he equipped his son. He didn't give Adam, she said, something that he could not do. Ooh. God put everything that he knew his son could handle mm. in his hands. And everything was good, she said, when it was in alignment with God. Yes. 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 It was bound to be successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's in alignment with God. Mm. His sons, your thoughts, your prayers, your actions in alignment with God is bound to be successful. She said it did not get bad until man got out of order mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. God, oh, and I love when she said this, mm -hmm. that tree of good and evil. God put a stop sign, she said, to make you stop and think those things that God wants you to stop and think about before you make a move. He wants you to remember hey. what he said to yes, you. Yes. He wants you to remember everything he gave you. And then the things he said, don't touch. Hmm. A stop sign, she said, that was so good. But oftentimes she said, we don't like the responsibilities that God gives us. Yes. We refuse to accept the responsibility. And in that, Adam became irresponsible. He began to value the wrong things. He began to blame the, his wife, what God had given him. He, he put blame somewhere else. But when she said, when you put blame somewhere else, nothing gets fixed. Yeah, that's right. She said, you got to acknowledge it. And then you have to repent yes, Lord. so you yes, can come Lord. back in alignment with God. That's the only way he can help you. But he wants to help you. Amen. Yeah. You got to trust him. You have to believe him and believe that what he has for you is purposeful. Oh, that it was so good. It was so good. And then man, brother, father, son, all those things that you are, God, you're blessed by the responsibility that God has given you. You're blessed in it. You're covered in it. You're home. Yes. Your possession, yes. everything you have, you're yes. covered yes. in it. Yes. You're blessed by your responsibilities. Yes. 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 Because God, she said, yes. is your first yoke. Yes. Yes. That's your first yoke. That's your first relationship. And if you can get that in order, everything else will fall into yes. place. Believe that. Yes. Focus your energy, your strength in the right place. And that relationship with the Lord and everything else you'll see will become so much easier. She said things went from bad to worse because Adam let go of his responsibility to God. But it was such an encouragement, brothers, because yes, all you have to do is yes, hold Lord. on. Yes, Lord. hold on yes, for Lord. dear life. Yes. That was an amazing and powerful. Oh, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Yes, it was good. And I pray that it was empowering for our brothers and yes, sisters. Lord. You are not left out of that. I know because I felt it. Amen. Amen. That was an encouragement to me. Amen. And you know, the Lord loves his men. He loves his men. They are precious. They oh, are yes. powerful. Yes. And I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. That, that's a good responsibility. Amen. Amen. The responsibility Amen. that God gives us is good. Yes, Lord. There's another responsibility that God has given yes, us, Lord. and it is good. Amen. To take care of his house. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, to Lord. take care of the things he asks us to take care of. Yes, so his Lord. word, the work of God can continue to go forth. And it's a good responsibility. Yes, and I thank God for it. I praise God in it. I thank him that he gives me a way to show him that I'm listening. God, I hear you, Lord, and I want to be a part. And if that is you, if you understand your responsibility in this walk and in our Christian fellowship, 
and that is to give. God tells us in his word over and over again how to give, who, where to give, in the church, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And he tells yes. us how to give cheerfully. And if you uh, want to give into a body of Christ that is doing the true and acceptable word of the Lord, you can All give right. to Tree of Life Empowerment Ministries. We have several ways you can do that. You can call us at 510-688-7437. Your class leader will pick up your, uh, your tithe or your offering. Or you can give over the phone with our square. You can cash app us at Totem Church. That's the cash app name. Or you can go to the website, empoweringlives.com. Click on contact us and click on donate to give in the way that God asks us to give. Hallelujah. Yeah, he said, yes, bring Lord. your first fruits. 10% is what he asks us it's to give. Yes, and he also tells us that everything he give, we give, he gives back to us. Oh, That's yes. that blessing. Yes. That's that responsibility and the blessing. It covers us. Hallelujah in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. So I thank God on today. I thank um, him for bringing such a powerful word. Yes, I Lord. thank God for Pastor Scott. And we'll ask her to yes, come one Lord. more time to lead us to the end of this service. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. As I was thank sitting there, Lord. I couldn't help but think about my father, who was a man of God and yes, a minister yes. in the word, and how he made sure that all of us outside of him being a laborer yes, and throwing a paper route before he went to work to pay for the house that we were in. Yes, Lord. And then leaving the paper route to go then work uh, at a labor yard. Yes, Lord. He never gave up the responsibility of taking care of his children Amen. in the Lord. Hallelujah. We had to sit at dad's feet yes. and have Bible study. Hallelujah. And as a result of that, yes. every last one all five of my sisters and brothers are believers. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Believers, worshiping, and believing in God. Yes. That's the power of men. Yes. yes. My mother was there, yes. but I remember my father. Yes, Lord. I remember him standing in the mirror preparing for his sermons before church. And I used to sit and watch him. And I asked him questions and get on his nerves. <laughs> I still have some of his books that he read. And it's through the strength of men that raises up children. He was never fearful of telling us the difference between right and wrong. He wasn't trying to be our best friend. Yes. And he didn't care how old we were. Yes. We were still his children. Yes. My father left this earth way before he saw me grow into womanhood. Yes. But I never will forget the seed that was planted by my dad. Yes, and so fathers, yes. if you still have this opportunity, yes. you never know when God's going to call you home. Yes, I hadn't even finished school when my dad was called home. Yes. But I remember mm. what he taught me before yes. he left. Yes, Lord. And it stayed with me always. Yes. Don't ever underestimate the power of a man and yes. what a man can do in his household. Yes. And if you're one today that has heard this sermon and said, well, I'm not a man, I'm a woman, you still have a responsibility. Amen. We all Amen. do. God has given each one of us responsibility. Each one of us have a responsibility first to God yes. to be a believer and trust in him and follow him. Yes. That's our responsibility. No one can follow Christ for you. You have to follow Christ. Yes. You have to develop that relationship with God. He is a relational God. He wants to have a relationship with those that call on him. That was true in the Garden of Eden. He could have made the earth filled with everything but us. Mm. But he didn't. Because he wanted to have relationship with Adam and with Eve. Yes. So if you are one that have not established yourself in the responsibility of being responsible to God first. Knowing him, believing in him, trusting him. Perhaps you haven't heard what your responsibility is yet. Well, that comes from being in a relationship with God. So if you're not in a relationship with God, why don't you start today? Amen. No better time than today 
to start your relationship with God. And all you have to do is confess right now that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. Say those words with me. I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he is the son of God, that he lived amongst us, that he got up on that cross and died for me, that he went to a grave for me, and he stayed there for three days for me. And on the third day, he rose yes. with all power yes. and walked amongst us one more time. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ooh, Thank Jesus. You. And then he ascended to the heavens Hallelujah. and took his rightful place yes, Lord. next to his father. And if you can say, I believe that, I believe that he's the son of God. I believe that he died for me. I believe that he's laid in a tomb for three days. I believe that he rose for me. I believe that he ascended to heaven. And right now, I believe that he is in heaven on the right hand side oh, yes. of his father. Yes. If you believe that, yes, then hallelujah, yes, praise God, yes, you're saved. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's what it takes to be saved, Thank you, Lord. to believe in your father. Yes. And now your responsibility starts yes, to continue to know him. Yes. And watch you be blessed yes. in that responsibility. Thank you, Lord. You are blessed yes. Lord. as he continues to undergird you and carry you through these difficult times. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As Lord. in keeping with this ministry, we always give something for you to read in case you want to continue studying. And I'm going to ask that you read Genesis 1, 2, and 3. Amen. The beginning and how man fell. And um, I'm going to be taking excerpts from these three chapters during our prayer service during the week. Amen. For us to meditate on and talk about. And so if you uh, don't have our prayer line number, I want you, I think, does it come across the screen? Mm -hmm. It comes across the screen. We're going to run the announcements again at the end of this service, and you can get it. And our prayer service starts at 7 in the morning, and I'm going to be taking excerpts Amen. from Genesis 1, 2, and 3 for us to pray on, to talk about, Amen. and to understand just how far we have come and where we are now. So I pray that you will join us through our many ministries. Yes, yes. Um, and I pray that this service was a blessing oh, yes. to you. And if you are Adam out there, mm. I hope you and pray that you hear him calling. Yes. And now I'm going to ask Reverend Antonia Hicks if she would lead us in our closing prayer. Amen. Church. Join me, please, as we go to that throne of grace and mercy. Father, Lord Jesus, we just acknowledge you for all that you are, God Almighty. We thank you, Lord, for the word that went forth, God, and we thank, we thank you for being the creator, Lord, and creating what was precious to you, man and woman, Lord. We pray for our brothers on today, Father God, that they would just be found safe in your arms and encouraged in your word. We thank you for the shepherd that finds it not robbery to give her life to you, God, so that you could speak a powerful and amazing word to your people. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. And let the church say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.